Well, the historic Savannah Foundation and the Davenport House Museum has a series of immersive, creative workshops highlighting local artists and artisans, and they give you hands-on learning experiences. Uh, Kyle is over at the historic Kennedy Pharmacy on Broughton Street this morning, where a lot of those events will be taking place. He's got to take a look at one coming up this weekend. Kyle, there's a lot going on over there. Yeah, yeah, a lot going on even here behind the scenes. Um, Hands-on experience and uh, solving some technical problems this morning. But I wanted to make sure that we highlighted this, and I want to uh, bring in uh, Danielle Hodes, who's the executive director at the Davenport House, to talk about um, this Artisan Spotlight series that we're highlighting uh, this weekend. This is something you guys started back in the spring, and you've got different events um, that are giving people a chance to, to learn something from local artists and giving them a chance to kind of showcase themselves and their talents. Yeah, absolutely. So this is kind of our, our second season in our second launch of programs um, and we're working with a whole new cohort of artists which is really exciting because some of them are ones that have reached out because they saw what we were doing with the other ones so we're growing our artist community we are working with them so they can showcase their work and really also be an entry point for our visitors so they can try out things for themselves and that's really exciting I know you've got stuff on the calendar we're looking at uh, the, the event that's coming up on Saturday and we'll talk uh, with their artists in just a second but give me a look ahead of, at kind of some of the other things that are coming yeah exactly so we've got watercolors in the garden that's gonna be in September we have candle making and kind of more even scent crafting in October so learning how to craft your own custom scent for a candle and then in December we have a really exciting program with Lonnie Lewis and she's gonna be teaching us how to create sustainable mocktails and cocktails oh so a lot of different things that you can do to uh, entertain yourself and guests over at your house I mentioned earlier maybe you could create something uh, that you could hang on your wall or you could uh, talk to one of our artists uh, Ivan Chow who is going to be running the workshop on Saturday. Um, thanks for being here today. We were going to be outside and you were, I know we're working on some stuff. We've got examples of some of your work, but then also some of the things that you were doing uh, a little bit earlier outside. What is it about this hand sketching process that is relaxing to you, fun for you? What is it about it that, that you enjoy? Um, pretty much every aspect of it, but on Saturday we're going to be talking more about the cognitive effects, okay. the cognitive impact of drawing by hand. Uh, basically coming out of uh, the Norwegian University of Science and Technology, new studies have shown that the brain activity increases significantly when you draw by hand versus writing or typing. Okay. In fact, increases and enhances memory, um, uh, creativity, and learning while you draw by hand. Now, how many of these things did you sit down? You said you've got some stuff. This is the, the Sydney Opera House is in this picture, and mm -hmm. they've got some stuff from Australia. Yep. Uh, how much of this were you sitting there drawing it while you were looking at it, or do you kind of sketch it out and then go back and continue after yeah. the fact? There are different modes. Um, maybe half of them I sat there and drew. The other half, because of weather, <laughs> like how hot it is, right. and rain, I would uh, dive back into a restaurant or a cafe or back home at the hotel to finish up. And this is, this is something that, uh, there's some stuff that you were working on earlier? Yeah, so this is a sketch of uh, the gardens, and uh, this is a style that I've developed, a real quick style, that allows you to create shadows and get a sense for the feel for uh, a building or a space that you really like to record. And uh, this is a real quick design uh, sketch, but you're able to Kind of get a sense of depth mm -hmm. and shadow and shade, and this is what I'm going to be introducing to participants on uh, Saturday: is how to kind of get a quick impression of something that you might have traveled thousands of miles to see, but you know a photograph is just not going to do it. But doing a sketch, you observe so much more than you would from a photograph that you may or may not ever show or um, bring out again. So. This is a way of, uh, you know, getting an impression. And this is designed for beginners and uh, experienced artists alike. How do you tailor your your conversation with them? With you know, whether it's someone who has is very familiar with this versus someone like myself who I would be lucky to draw two straight lines next to each other. Uh -huh. This is for all skills lo skill levels, and the biggest thing to overcome is fear. <laughs> well, I can. Two, I can two kinds that. of fear: fear that you're not good enough, yeah, or fear that of what other people think. Once you get over that, you can begin the process. However, there is the magic number of greatness. 
Have you read Malcolm Gladwell? Uh, I have not, but I, I can imagine that this is something that, uh, you know, over time you can uh, develop something in the skills like Ivan has, uh, but you could come in and maybe get yourself started uh, with the workshop on Saturday. It's happening right here uh, at the historic Kennedy Pharmacy uh, and on the back side of the Davenport House. We're right on Broughton Street. Uh, it's from 9 o'clock until 1 o'clock on a Saturday, and you can come out. We'll have more information on uh, how to sign up and register for that on our website, WTOC.com. Thanks, uh, guys guys for getting us in here before the end of the hour. We wanted to make sure that we uh, highlighted this, uh, something fun and uh, also educational and, uh, you know, to get your mind going and uh, get your hands going at the same time.